Atlantis Submarines has ushered in year 35 with a dive and invited special guests. Among them, President Her Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason and Blue Economy Minister Adrian Ford. In welcoming them, General Manager Roseanne Myers shared the company's history and a glimpse into the future. We only survive if the reef survives. When we survey our guests, they say the number one reason that they come is to see the fish and the coral. And happy to say that we are going to launch our own coral nursery, um, certainly probably by the end of this month. Growing coral was unheard of when we first started, but it has been successfully done here by the organization Coral and Barbados Blue. And we want to be part of that new thrust to see whether we can regenerate the reefs. Ms. Myers notes navigating the rough seas of the COVID-19 pandemic has been challenging. And even though they're not fully out of the woods, the company is committed to giving back to locals. We believe that with the assistance that the government of Barbados has given Atlantis, we were part of the best program, that we want to be able to give back. So Minister, I pledge tours for your environmental education, any way that we can help in educating persons on how and why they should protect the marine environment, we're up for it. The submarine is now your toy. <laughs> you have it whenever you want. Blue Economy Minister Adrian Ford has welcomed that pledge, as his ministry is committed to achieving SDG 14 and 15 in office. And I want you to continue to educate our young people, educate our elderly as well, because we must understand that those in the twilight plays just an important role as those in the dawn of their lives. And it's for us to educate them so that we will see less pollution of the ocean. So we will see that Barbados will have a tangible stake in their reefs and allow us to have our sea turtle projects and all the other things that speak to who we are. Five of the original staff members are still working with the company. They've observed many changes over time, including the sub-seating capacity, which has moved from 24 to 48. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.